You're watching Old Mates Backyard Tech. Once Old Mate can get a few other projects out of the road, we might get stuck back into our XCPNG project server. But in the meantime, at least from a hardware point of view, we're talking about that server. Yesterday I got a comment from a viewer wanting a little bit of help with the Intel S5000 VSA motherboard. The way Old Mate is this morning, that's an easy video to make. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is server PC stuff time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech and uh, I'll be honest, this is a nice, easy video for Old Mate to make this morning because it requires absolutely no intelligence. A viewer by the name of Retro Collector One got in touch with Old Mate yesterday um, on whatever video it was. Uh, uh, oh, the more work on the Intel S5000 VSA motherboard video from geez, a few weeks ago now, wasn't it? Um, the comment is, hi, great video. Can you please put a video on YouTube? of where to put power and reset plugs, HDD, power LEDs, so on and so forth. Um, and I thought, well, that's an easy video to make when I saw the comment. And then this morning I realized it's a super easy video to make. So what we'll do, let me grab the video camera. Let me get the server out too. And uh, I'll put a, show you where all the uh, front, well, effectively where the front panel uh lights and power and stuff all get plugged up to on the 5000. I'll grab the video camera and let's get into it. All right, so for the front panel connector, you normally would have a lead like this, all right? And I'll show you the pinouts shortly. Basically, that's it there above my index finger. All right, those, that header uh, row there is your front panel connector all right for the 5000 now in my server's case as i said i've got this flat flex you know looks like a bit of an old ide lead and it basically plugs onto the front panel header if i can get it to plug up because i unplugged it and didn't take a note of which way it plugged back up does mm -hmm, I had it right kind of funny I unplug stuff and then I can't remember how I plugged it there we go so that's where it goes right onto that so now I do have the pinout document for this board all right and you'll note that there's a gap uh, between pins one and I think it's one and pin one and five, all right. The pin out goes that way, all right. So it's um, odd numbers at the bottom, even at the top, I think is how it goes. But normally you'd have it with a, you know, IDE style ribbon lead, basically, all right. And it would just, you know, plug on like that. And then this ribbon lead goes up to your um, front panel because you've got to remember these boards have dual nicks and system checks and um, a whole pile of sorry and a whole pile of other stuff so to make it a little easier now you know where the location of it is let me grab the pin out diagram all right so here's the actual front panel connector all right so you can see here it goes one two three four Five, six. So you got odd at effectively the bottom of the board, even at the top of the board, all right, in the orientation. So that effectively is where your front panel header goes. Now, whether you're using individual wires or a flat flex lead, you need to make sure that it lines up with this and misses that pin three, all right? And as you can see here, this is all it here. This is all freely available, all right? I've had this pin out for, oh, 
models. What am I on? I think I got this pin out a few years ago. All right, and it's it is freely available um, online, basically. So um, they're pretty much all the same for the five thousand series. They don't really the pin out of the front header doesn't actually change. Um, but you've just got to be careful and remember that the bigger of the three plugs there, because you've got two other plugs there that are for um, RAID systems, okay, uh, external to the onboard RAID controller. Um, just make sure it's that big long plug. And um, as I said, you know, if, you, if you've got the board standing up vertically, the bottom of that header is all your odd pin numbers, and the top of that header is all your even pin numbers. All right, and um, normally you would get a flat flex lead with a server case, all right, like that case is. It's a server case, not a PC case. And so you'd have a flat flex lead or an IDE style lead coming from the front panel control because what you've got to remember is you've got multiple um, lights and warning and everything like that. I think in some cases you get a flat flex lead and in that entire thing is also a front USB system too if the USBs are up with the uh, buttons and lights and everything. So hopefully Retro Collector that helps you out and uh, gets you going with the 5000 board. Stick around, we've also got uh, some, not Bad news, but some troubling news regarding my 80 series. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.